Now, as I've said, as I've played many times throughout the streams, uh, I'm a big fan of 4X games. Whatever those X's may be. Explore, Expand, Exterminate, and there's another one. I don't remember what it is. It comes before Exterminate, I think. I can't really remember. But, a series that I have never dipped my toes into, Dominion 6. And man, do they love the Exterminate part. Okay, so that's Magical Leadership. Uh, map Movement, Explanatory, Encumbrance. A fatigued unit will get. So there's also a Fatigue stat, which as it goes up, Eventually, unit will no longer be able to do things, and of course, if they fall unconscious or begin to act sluggishly, very detrimental if you just fall asleep in the middle of a battle. Turns out, your enemies are likely to take advantage of that, unless they're, uh, not the most intelligent. Okay, which one is this? This is... these guys. A Micklin. Ancient tribe isolated for centuries. Foul practices have caught most of their neighbors. Leave or face slavery and blood sacrifice. Ah, turns out, not the nicest of neighbors, unfortunately for us. Good news is, we've got pointy sticks, and we are n willing to poke enemies with them. So, maybe they'll be able to leave us alone. Uh, that's five infantrymen, and they only dealt... Some friendly fire certainly going on here. Tends to be what happens when you just kind of blindly fire your crossbows into melee. But, not the worst thing in the world. We, we did end up winning the battle, what is most important. But we need to be a little bit more careful with our aim next time. Be careful down in the uh, subterranean because of all the, the darkness, of course. Turns out going to caves, very, very dark. And for whatever reason, our soldiers decide not to bring torches. And just, you know, fight down there, well, well nearly blind. It's the smartest plan, but each their own. Indians were defeated with the loss of their mightiest mages. New powers established themselves. Lastly, explosion of blood magic has prepared the nation for sinister reshaping. Dark woodland came the black goats. Will slowly transform the kingdom into dark rituals and blood magic. Can't test, trust the goats. Honestly, if a goat man came out of the woods and said, I'll give you power, I would probably be distrustful. But hey, after... All that's happened, it looks like it's not the worst thing in the world, except for the whole blood magic sacrifice thing. But, hey, they won a war. That's something. Okay, actually, what is... What is okay, so we know what these guys... Is, oh, that's our blessing. We know what our blessing is, guys. <laughs> Congratulations. How difficult that must be. Goodness gracious. Infantry, slave warriors, sacred serpents, large sobek... Warriors and Sacred Guards. Favorite. Ooh, also, I need to remember to take my vitamins. Turns out the Lizard People... Not someone you want as neighbors. Considering they make everything worse around you, and even if you go over and say hi, they're gonna give you, like... I don't know, the flu? Or worse? I feel like we might, might want to move, or force them to move, more likely. They're Lars 2. This is Lars the first. There's another Lars- oh my goodness, we need more names! You are Lars Builder. Is there any other Larses I need to be aware of, other than my favorite Lars? No. Okay. Just the three of them. Three is still more than enough. I have a relatively common name. Lars being this common is just ridiculous. There's another Lars! Oh my goodness! Lars the Priest it is. We spent one money by ever all of these gems, which of course, absolute ripoff for the guy. But admittedly, he saw a giant demigod earth serpent coming at him. That's terrifying. And you know, strength incarnate. And he decided, you know what, it might be better to separate with his wares rather than try and negotiate. Which I don't blame him, but sad day for that merchant. Okay, so I think what happened is I wasn't paying attention to my armies down here. And as a result, the commander of the army that was here got dealt with when I wasn't paying attention. All of the units that were in that army, even though there was a ton of them, just disappeared. So when I thought I was moving over an army of the snake plus a couple of priests plus, you know, like 40 dudes, uh, probably closer to 50 dudes... 
I ended up sending over a snake and five priests who basically have no combat ability. Pay better attention. But, eh. Whatever. I do not know what this loading screen is about. What's that thing on the left supposed to be? A spirit, a wisp? Oh, it could be Io. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. It, it is a wisp. Got it. I, I mean, that's my guess. Otherwise, it's like an exploding star, and that wouldn't make much sense to uh, Dota 2. How about taking a look at the graphs there? Yeah. This huge, like, we were winning, we were winning, and then we started not winning for another, what was it, 15 minutes straight almost? It, it was bad. At least 12 or 13 minutes of us not doing anything notable with our gold lead. And we were up on them by over 20k. Is not how you want to finish a game. But we didn't have those good front to back team fights where we just knocked them down. So, what can you do when your team wants to separate? I got my items. I'm glad I didn't go Midas. I'm thinking, I'm thinking Midas nowadays is kind of a trap. Yes, it gets you that XP you might want, but if you're ahead, it's just going to get you a little further ahead when Maelstrom would be better. And if you're behind, then odds are you don't have access to your jungle freely. So there's a time to buy Midas. I'm just not good enough to know when that time exactly is. I like the red theme. I like the burning wings especially. Nothing else. You don't have to judge me for it. Uh, scoreboard wise, I, I mean I probably should have gone BKB. That was... A mistake in hindsight, but oh man, do I just love not buying BKB. Why buy it when you can avoid it and regret it later? Am I right? I read it to the best of my ability, and it was it was good ability. 11 0 and 16. As it turns out, spin webs plus literally any abilities you can get away with if you're decent enough. And I am technically decent. A little early getting a start this morning. Mostly because there was no my manga hadn't updated. That's literally what I do before stream. Regardless, uh, waking up this morning was one of those annoying wake ups. Where you wake up, you flop around a bit, you go, What year is it? What day is it? What am I doing here? What is that thing making noise over there? I look through the clock and I'm like, Why am I up this early? This is stupid. I want to go back to bed. I'm like, Oh, wait. Now I've got stream. In just a bit. <sighs> okay, fine. I guess I'll wake up. My hey, job in that team, or that little fight, was not actually to do damage, it was just to walk up to him and make sure he was still uh, maintaining his silence. Gotta love it. I did it! We did it! Oh my goodness, that game was way closer than any reason to be. Remember, if the enemy team has mostly been dealt with, and all they've got left is a single tier 5, it's okay just to go for the end instead of going for megas. You only go for megas if you can't end the game. Thanks for watching. You should watch another. Please?